hello everyone welcome to today's tutorial if you are new on this channel you are very much welcome as well as our old subscribers welcome back to today's tutorial today we are going to be learning how to make a spiral flames and i'm also going to be explaining how you can join it to your fabric as well and please before we begin today's tutorial please just take out a few seconds to subscribe to this channel it really really encourages me to keep on moving <laughs> as well as like this video as well having done that let us start today's tutorial i'm just going to be using this white this brown paper because it requires a lot of fabric and i don't have any fabric to spare at the moment so that's the reason why i'll be using this brown paper so the first thing you need to do is to get the main point of the amount of fabric that you want to use. Assuming this is the amount of fabric you want to use, something like this. You just get the midpoints of it. That is... You get the um, length of the fabric. This is about 25 inches. 25 divided by... Giving me 12, I'll just say 13, 12 and a half, about 13 inches. Yeah, 12 and a half. So just mark it here. And I'll just take the width of, I'll just take the width so that I will know if I'm at the right place or the right point that I marked. So let's just say it's about 40. So I'll just mark. Okay, it's about um, 40. So I can just leave it here. It's okay. This midpoint that I've marked is fine. Doesn't have to be too perfect. So we're just going to draw a straight line now. Draw a straight line to the edge of the paper. From this midpoint, remember we have a midpoint, let me even make it more visible. Then I draw from this midpoint to the edge of the paper. I do this for three as well. at each edge so the first thing we're going to do is that we need a radius that is the circle we, we remember that a fluence is somehow circular it's just that it is somehow circular that's how we start so what we're going to do is that we're going to take um our radius i'm going to be using one inch one inch one inch one inch and one inch so you have one inch one inch one inch so we'll just connect this nice so the next thing we're now going to do is that we're going to measure how full do you want your flares to be it now depends on you how long do you want it to be if you want it to be as long as like eight inches you know that you have you need enough fabric but if you want it to be small because me i'll just be using me i'll be using three inches so i'll just use three inches i'll mark three inches here okay i come again to this line i mark three inches i come again to this line i mark three inches i come to this line i mark three inches so from this place i will now connect it from this place, I'll just connect it to this point. I'll just try and like do it this way. Then I take it round again. Make sure they are touching all the lines. And 
is as circular as possible. You bring it again to this line. Okay. So you know that next is this line. You've done this to this point. There's no point here. So we are taking it again. Taking three inches. Next line. Three inches. Next line. Three inches. Again. So I'll just do it till the paper is finished. Then connect it to this line. I bring it again. I connect it to this line. I bring it again. Connecting it to this line now. Bringing it from here to this place again. Okay? There's no line, there's no point here to connect it to. So we continue. Measure three inches again. The next line. See, my paper is almost finished. I'll just stop here. You can always go on and on as long as you have enough fabric. Bring it here again. Three inches. Bring it here again. Alright, so I'm just going to connect it to this line. Bring this one. Connect it to the next line. Bring it again. Connect it to this line. Bring it again. Connect it to this line. So you can see how spiral. See, it's going round, round, round. So now what we are now going to do is that we're going, going to cut it. This is our starting point. Okay, so next thing is that we're going to so I'll just cut a straight line. Okay, so we we'll start from here. So I've cut a straight line here. Remember that this will be stopped, so I just cut it from this edge. I cut it to this place. So I'll just follow it like this. Anywhere that I know that my circle did not really try and adjust it since and this one i know it did not really it did not really curve well consideration your joining allowance at the edge while you are um, talking about the length so if there's if you need to make a double that means you make two pieces of this exact size so that you just join it and you know that it's two so that there will be no need for folding around but if you'll be using a folding around you just add it make sure you add your folding allowance to the length then you just fold it in then the next thing you are going to do is this side, all these sides, so you are going to be joining to the fabric. Assuming, assuming this is the fabric, and this is where you want to join it to, you just place it this way. You join it. Once you start to join it, you start to fold. You join it, you join it, you join it. Once you start to fold, start to give you that um, flame. Look, let's see if we can arrange it in the middle. So once you join it, you start to give it that look. Now because this is a paper, it's not falling. If it was a fabric, it will fall. 
So once you just join it, you join it to the side, to start to fold. See, they're already even giving that in here. So start to fold. So start to give it that look. So that's how we are going to do it if you want to join into your fabric. There's nothing much, nothing serious about it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful one way or the other. If it was, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. I'll see you in the next video.